We got some things to talk about. What is up, Finn fans? This game. Before we jump into the game. Before we jump into the game. Let me shout out two new members. And John V and David Roach. Thank you guys so much for joining the membership. Uh, if I started getting Tessie. Testy, not Tessie. If I start getting a little testy at the end of the stream, I do apologize. I don't like getting like that. Uh, I try to keep my cool, but with the stuff that I saw today, <laughs> and we're going to see what could help. I told you guys I give it four games, and I give you my assessment. This is the the first quarter of the season, so uh, I guess tomorrow will be the quarterly review on the season. <clears throat> But we're going to talk about it like usual. Let's jump into stats. We're going to start with the Colts. And Carson Wentz, 24 for 32, 228 yards, two touchdowns. They did get some pressure on him, but not as much as they should have. We'll talk about that. Jonathan Taylor, 16 carries for 103 yards and one touchdown. 6.4 yards average. Marlon Mack, 10 carries, 22 yards. Uh, and then it doesn't really matter after that. When it comes to receiving, uh, Michael Pittman, six catches for 59 yards. Zach Pascal, four catches for 44 yards. Uh, Mo Ali Cox, three catches for 42 yards. Jack Doyle, one catch for 24 yards. But Mo Ali Cox was the man who was getting them all of their touchdowns. And then, looking at the Miami Dolphins, Jacoby Brisket. I didn't mess that name up. Uh, 20 for 30, 199 yards, two touchdowns, garbage time touchdowns. I'll talk about that. Malcolm Brown, eight carries for 23 yards, 2.9 yards. Carry Jacoby Brissett, three carries, eight yards, 2.7. Miles Gaskin got two catches, uh, two carries, and Savan Ahmed got three, and they barely got any yards off of that. Devontae Parker, four catches uh, for 77 yards and a touchdown. Mike Gizicki, five catches, 57 yards and a touchdown. Jalen Waddle, three catches for 33 yards. And then there is that. They also, you know, we got a fumble recovery. Unfortunately, we gave up a ton of fumbles. I will talk about that. No interceptions or any of that. Uh, Emmanuel Agua gets a sack. Jalen Phillips and Sam McGuavin get a share of a sack. Uh, but I think it should have been mostly given to um, Phillips. Carson Wentz was going down by the time Sam McGuavin got around to him. But that is the stats. And now I'm going to talk about this game. <clears throat> Uh, I'll talk about Jacoby Brissett last because that's something we got to talk about. Uh, it was just messy. This was just messy. Uh, last week, it was messy. I went through the tape and I just saw so much points left on the field. Uh, so many stupid calls, so many non-stupid calls. Just And then this week, it's just a, it's the same thing again where... And again, I'll get to Jacoby Brissett in a second. Plays are left on the field. Not kicking that field goal. That 55-yard field goal. If you're trying to draw them off sides, don't come out in field goal formation. Because you're not, you barely get people jumping off sides on the field goal formation. Don't come out in field goal formation if you're just going to let the play clock run down. I don't understand. This is the second week in a row that we are in. Jason Sanders field goal range and they don't kick the field goal. And it is the second week in a row at some point that field goal cost us potentially having the lead. Last week against the Raiders, that field goal, we you know, he he goes for that field goal, we possibly would have won that Raiders game. So there's a lot of the decisions in that aspect that I don't understand what's going on. Now, the run defense, it needs something needs to be changed there. It is bad. Two games back and back of 100 yards rushing, it is bad. Something needs to be done, whether it's linebackers, whether it's... I don't know, but the run defense is horrendous. We have Byron Jones getting hurt with an injury, not coming back out after the half. They put Justin Coleman out there on the boundary, and then he just gets picked on for the rest of the game. Dolphins couldn't go in man coverage anymore because you don't want to leave Justin Coleman on an island with his receiver. They couldn't really blitz anymore, which there were so many things that they just, the first quarter was good for the most part. Again, 
I'll get to it. Um, but we're getting a ton of pressure. You know, we were doing certain things. It was working. And then they just stopped doing it. And then all of a sudden, when things need to happen, you need to put a fire under them to, you know, eight minutes, 10 minutes left in the game. Now they're chucking it down the field. Screw it. Let's see if Devontae Parker can catch the ball. It's too little too late sometimes. That being said, that being said, Jacoby Brissett, let's just get to it. Let's just get to the Jacoby Brissett. We'll talk about some other things. He's bad. Jacoby Brissett's bad. Um, I know a lot of you guys don't like Tua. I wouldn't say a lot. I know a good, a, a good amount of you guys because, I, I, like I said, I read the comments. Don't like Tua. I think Tua is a bust. We need to move on from Tua. Tua is not getting it done. Move on. Jacoby Brissett is so much worse. <laughs> that man is so much worse. He got Will Fuller injured by throwing the pass into the ground, and Will Fuller dives down to try to make the catch and bail him out, hurts his wrist or his thumb. There's so many passes that were thrown into the touchdown pass to mile to Gizicki was thrown behind him. He's running his route this way. He throws the pass behind him. He had to reach back and grab it. Thank God um, Gizicki can catch anything because then he catches it for the touchdown. Horrible pass. I will pop up the animation if I can of he can, he could have had Waddle for a touchdown. He could have had Waddle for a deep touchdown. He could have had Gizicki for a deep touchdown. There were so many passes that were thrown either in the ground. And a lot of people will say, well, you know, Tua wouldn't do any better with this offensive line. Most of those plays and most of the game I'm, I was watching today and even last week, the man gets a clean pocket. Jacoby Brissett gets an absolute clean pocket in front of him and he stares down his receivers and he doesn't throw it. He doesn't throw his guys open and he doesn't throw it to when his guys are open. He needs They need to be more open for him to trust himself to get the ball there. So he stares down him in a pocket and then he decides to run when he doesn't need to run. There was a play where Waddle was coming, or no, Albert Wilson was coming across the middle and he took off running instead of dropping it down to him. Jacoby Brissett is bad. Jacoby Brissett is holding this offense back. Week one, it wasn't spectacular. The offensive line was struggling. But Tua got two touchdowns. Tua marches down the field twice. 80-yard drives. Beginning of the game, after the half, got his touchdowns. That was the deciding factor on us winning that Patriot game. Yes, of course, the fumble helped. But those two touchdowns versus the uh, Patriots, who kept kicking field goals and getting only one touchdown, helped us in that deciding factor. Fast forward. Then to the Buffalo Bills game. Tua goes out after, what, 10 snaps? We don't score any points. Now, some of it could be, is that could be, but some of it's because of dropped receivers. But also, Brissett doing his thing. Fast forward to the Raiders game. I showed you the film. Go back and watch the film breakdown where he's just staring down the wrong guy. Wait, the guy's open and he needs him to come down more. I don't know what is Brissett's problem, but it's, it's it needs to be moved on from. Now, unfortunately, we have Tampa Bay coming up. The Dolphins ain't winning Tampa Bay playing like this. Watch them beat Tampa Bay. Watch them beat Tampa Bay. I'm sounding super delusional right now, but that's how the NFL works. The Jets just beat the Tennessee Titans. The Jets just beat the Tennessee Titans. We're tied with the ten. Well, we'll see what happens with the Patriots. I don't think the Patriots will beat the Bucks tonight, but the Jets just beat the Tennessee Titans. <sighs> And then you look at the, the mistakes, right? You look at, you know, the offsides. There, there was, we gave them points. We're forcing him to punt the ball. This is from uh, Wiley, uh, W. Tyler Hunt. Um, he hit me up on Twitter. And I was going to talk about it, wrote it down, but he, he gave this really good chart. Forcing them to punt. Scarlet offsides, that leads to a touchdown, right? Grant missed... Uh, Drops the punt, which, oh, did that piss me off. Field goal. Brissett fumbles in the, in the red zone. Fumble. Phillips wrongly called for a face mask when he touched his shoulder. I'll pop up the video if I can. Leads to a touchdown over a field goal. So he says, range of points gifted to Indy, 13 to 20. Most likely 17. Dolphins lose by 10. Not in the, And again, we gave him 10 points, right? We gave him 10 points in the muffed fumble, and we gave him 10 points in the offsides, right? And again, you should have stopped them before then, but let's just play devil's advocate. You kick the field goal. It makes it a world of a difference. 
But, <clears throat> and, oh, and then ball kicked out of bounds. You know, we're, we we get a touchdown. We're, we're getting there. We're getting close. And then we kick the ball out of bounds, give it to them on their own 40. There was a lot, of, you know, to me, the major problem with the offense was Brissett. He's not seeing guys open. He's not throwing guys open. He's panicking in the pocket, even when it's a clean pocket. He's doing all the wrong things. Two is better. You got to admit it. I'm sorry. If you're a two in here or two a hater or whatever you want to, you got to see two is better. Now, you could say, well, is that better? You know, does it really? It does. And I'm not saying he's the best, but he's the best option right now for us to win. It's not only that. It was a lot of missed tackles, a lot of missed assignments, a lot of wide open guys again on third down. Last year, the Dolphins were first in the NFL in stopping third down conversions on defense. They're now last or 20th or something. They're, they're not good. And it showed again today. This team is messy. That starts at the head coach. And I know a lot of you guys want to get on the OCs. Why aren't we pushing the ball down the field? Why aren't we doing this? Why aren't we running rats down the field? They were. Jacoby Brissett was just not hitting them deep. So, <clears throat> something needs to change. You know, you lost to a team that you should have beat. Easily should have beat. You know, Colts fans, if you're watching this, good game. You won. I'm not saying you didn't deserve the win. We shot ourselves in the foot too many times to even have a chance to come back and win. But they should have won this game. They should have beat the Colts. They are better than the Colts. It was so many mistakes, so many mishaps, and a bad quarterback play that cost us this game. Something needs to change. And the fact that Roger Goodell was sitting next to Stephen Ross having a conversation watching this game. Stephen Ross, you got to do something here. You want to you wanna turn this season around again? You're 1-3 now. You're going to Tampa Bay. Most likely going to be 1-4 when Tua comes back. You got to do something and you got to change something here. But comment below, guys. I know this is, a, like I said, it, it wasn't going to be an uplifting. Uh, it was going to be a different type of postgame because I'm mad. I told you I give you four games. I give the I always give them four games to see uh, where they're at as a team, and it don't look good right now. We'll see if that change when two is in there or if they make any moves. But <clears throat> comment below. This this is not what I expected. Did I expect them to be perfect? Did I expect them to score fifty points a game? No, I expected better than this. I also expected two to still be playing though. To be honest with you. But be sure to comment below. Let me know what you guys think. Supposedly the All-22 I'm looking at right now is already out. So if that's the case, I might do the film breakdown tonight and give it to you guys tomorrow. But uh, maybe I won't for my own sanity. <laughs> but I want to say this before I jump out of here. I love you guys. Regardless of what the team is, regardless of what the record is, I'm going to be making you videos. I'm going to be rooting for my team. And I'm going to be making live streams. So, again, I do apologize if I came off a little harsh towards the end of the live stream, or if I snapped at anyone because I was angry during the Dolphins game. It wasn't anything malicious. I do apologize. It just, this game just pushed me over the edge of my patience, uh, and I do apologize. But on that, guys, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. If it's not for the film breakdown, then it is the quarterly review. And if not tomorrow for the quarterly review, then I'll make that Wednesday. But like usual, guys, stay classy. I love y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out. Um, like usual, fins up. Uh, yeah, I think I already said stay classy. I don't know. I'm losing it. Love you guys.